Hey guys, Lisa Salvatore here. We are about to enter the new year, the new astrological new year, the rebirth of the sun. It is almost airy season. Today is Friday, March 19th that I'm recording this video. So today, um, actually ever since Mars moved into Gemini on the third of the month, there's definitely been uh, a buzz <laughs> that's been present and it feels like the tempo has quickened quite a bit, um, you know, we may be feeling more active, but then ultimately slowing down because we are still, we have still been under Pisces water. So that kind of slows us down sometimes and makes us, you know, rethink and, you know, reevaluate and step back and we can be sleepy. But then Mars and Gemini gave us like a push forward. So there's definitely been a buzz that has been present and that is continuing to rev up. And today, actually on March 19th, uh, Friday, the moon actually moved into Gemini and made a conjunction with Mars in Gemini. So that's definitely um, energetic. So you may be feeling like this push and pulse of energy today to move forward. And maybe you're coming out of a rut or getting jolted with a burst of initiative to do something new or to get uh, some steam back in your sails, some wind back in your sails to for projects that you've been working on or for, you know, anything anything where you're outputting energy, where you may have been feeling a little stuck, this could be a time where you could definitely be feeling that push forward, that momentum going forward. Uh, tomorrow, March 20th, the sun moves into Aries. And, you know, every 30 days, the sun switches signs, as we all know, and that overall celestial energy changes with the sign change whenever the sun switches signs. And so the important and significant piece to Aries is that it is the first sign of the zodiac. So this is the rebirth of the solar year. This is the rebirth of the sun. And because Venus will be following close behind entering Aries on the 21st, not long after the sun enters Aries, Venus will then enter Aries. We also experience the spring equinox. So all of this to say, this is a time where it's like a rebirth of the heart a rebirth of the soul. There's a lot of pleasant um, and intense aspects present with Venus right now. So, you know, Venus is who we love, what we love, how we love. It is what we find pleasing. It is also what we will um, tolerate and not tolerate. And this is supportive. This is helpful. So everyone's getting injected with this feeling of just this fresh energy coming because it is the rebirth of the sun. It is the solar new year. It is the astrological new year. And, you know, Aries as the first sign of the zodiacs, Zodiac, spring equinox, the four points, the two equinoxes, spring and autumn, and then we've got the summer solstice and the winter solstice. Those four points are the cardinal points of the year. And those are initiation points. Those are portals of energy when time seems to speed up yet slow down all at once. And we recognize, we feel, I should say, not just recognize, but we feel deeply we feel this spiritual shift that happens and we feel where and when we need to make changes and we don't always do it but we still feel the rumbles of these energetic shifts they're very potent very present and very profound and so because of everything that has gone on the past 12 to 18 months we are due for rebirths of of all of it of everything and this is the time where we will be seeing feeling and ultimately implementing and doing those things that we've been meaning to do, but haven't had the gusto or the details to do so. Now, I also want to mention, um, a lot of uh, people keep asking me, I thought Mercury was out of retrograde. Why does it feel so, it still feels like we're in the middle of a Mercury retrograde. And here's the answer to that. Mercury did technically station direct at the end of February and then left its shadow period on the 13th of March. So technically we're out of Mercury retrograde shenanigans. However, Mercury left the sign of Aries and shifted into Pisces on March 3rd. March, I think March 3rd. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Gemini moved into, Mars moved into Gemini on March 3rd. Uh, Pisces, Mercury moved into Pisces on the 15th. So just two days ago, Mercury shifted into Pisces. So what happens when Mercury leaves Aquarius, you think about what Mercury represents, the planet Mercury, it's all about communication. It is the way we input information, output information, receive. It is the way we write and express ourselves verbally. And, and um, it's technology, it's travel, it's details. That's Mercury. And when Mercury was in Aquarius, it was in its element. It enjoys to be in Aquarius. It's very intellectual and it gets things done and the details do not go unnoticed. And we definitely feel more structured when Mercury's in Aries. When it comes to all of the mercurial 
aspects of life, okay? Then Mercury goes into the waters of Pisces and kind of gets, it kind of drowns, it gets soggy, it flounders because now our communication and all of the other areas that Mercury rules over can tend to feel, uh, you know, like on Charlie Brown, the, the teacher that's wah, 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 wah. That's what Mercury does sometimes when in Pisces. And again, depending on your own personal energy, your own personal astrological flavor and makeup, you will be more comfortable with that energy or less comfortable with that energy, with this energy, I should say. But keep in mind, Mercury will be in Pisces. It moves very quickly because Mercury is a speedy planet. It's the fastest planet. So Mercury spent nine weeks in Aquarius because of the whole retrograde, which was actually a good thing because Mercury does well in Aquarius. But now Mercury is in Pisces, but only until April 2nd, I believe, or the 3rd. So he's kind of going to speed through Pisces. So that's good. But what I would say about that is if you're looking to do things that require a lot of analytical detail, uh, you know, deep concentration, profound communication, details, uh, this might not be the time that you want to push forward with that. You may want to wait until Mercury goes into Aries because it will definitely get a jolt of energy. In Pisces, the good side of Mercury in Pisces, it, it's, it's more poetic. It's a water sign. So if you want to write a love letter, if you want to express yourself from the heart and you know in a much more colorful, creative and poetic manner, Mercury in Pisces will help you to do that. But so just so you know, the reason why it has still kind of felt like a Mercury retrograde is because of the fact that Mercury is now in the waters of sensitive, compassionate, empathetic, and also the fish that swims in two different directions, which is Pisces. So that's how we could be feeling when it comes to all the matters of Mercury, okay? So this is why it could still feel like Mercury retrograde. But going back to airy season and the spring equinox, and you know, the equinox just means it's equal parts of day and night, no matter where you are on this planet, on this earth, it, is, it will be equal parts of day and night, okay? And here on the, in the Northern Hemisphere, it is the beginning of spring, it is the rebirth and the renewal of everything. That which has been killed off or gone into the cold is now coming back up to life and getting fresh air injected into it. And this is beautiful when you think about the spiritual component behind the spring equinox. It is the rebirth of everything. And because we're looking to, you know, it's Aries. So what does Aries do? Aries is fire. Aries moves. Aries is courageous. It gives us energy. We need it after the past couple of months. So this season, you know, you may want to take some heart-centered action. You may want to stand up for yourself and rise up in your power more so than you ever have before. This is all good. This is the energy that we are moving towards. And yes, of course, there will still always be some bumps in the road. We definitely have some um, heated aspects that are coming up as we get into next week and gear up towards the full moon. But I'll come back with another video for that. But just know that with when we get into Aries season, the opposite sign of Aries is Libra. And Libra is the mirror to Aries, the opposite. And Libra is also the sign of relationships and contracts. And so Aries right now is entering this space of, there's so much um, heart-centered Venusian Venus energy, and that's beautiful. And then opposite the Libra relationship axis. So there's gonna be a big emphasis on our communications with our one-on-ones, with the uh, people that we are in contact with business-wise, personally, family, all of that. This is all going to be, um, there's going to be a lot of emphasis on that, you know, and that can be a really good thing. It can be a really sweet thing. There could be bridging of gaps. There could also be severing of situations that are long overdue. So anyway, take heart, um, stay in your light. I will be back with another video soon and take really good care of yourselves, guys. Bye.